Bill O'Reilly here. Welcome to the No Spin News for Monday, August 14th, 2023. Stand up for your country. Uncertainty. Not a good word for most Americans. We like to have things in order. We like to know what is likely to happen. It's a matter of uh, the human condition, security, all of that. But right now in politics, uncertainty is at an extremely high level. I'm not going to say it's the worst ever, because uh, there are other things in our history where it was just chaotic beyond belief, like the Civil War, the Great Depression, World War II in the beginning. But Political uncertainty in America right now is uh, very, very intense. And we are here to sort it out for you as best we can without speculation, without trying cases on television, any of that, which is why I assume you're with us uh, rather than wasting time on the corrupt corporate media, which is agenda filled all day long and going to give you what they're ordered to give you. We will never do that. There's nobody around to order me to do anything. Okay. And that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. We begin with Hunter and Joe Biden. All right. So whatever transacted between those two men is still undefined. So we don't know exactly what the Hunter, Joe and Jim Biden, Hunter, uh, the president's brother, We don't know exactly how that came down. What we do know is the Biden family derived between 20 and 30 million dollars, perhaps more, for doing nothing. That's in stone. Fact can't be disputed. Anybody who does dispute it is lying to you. We don't know where all of that money went. We do know that Hunter Biden was prosecuted by the federal government, the Treasury Department, IRS, for not paying taxes on more than a million dollars. That has led to subsequent investigations of Hunter's father, the president. And you know the story, the laptop and, and all of that. But right now, Joe Biden is in danger himself, because it's just a day away that somebody comes out of that morass and says, he got this, it's over. I don't know whether that will happen. What I do know for sure is the Democratic Party is taking a horrendous beating on this. The whole party, because there isn't anyone in the Democratic Party that is criticizing the Biden influence selling situation. Not one. Non-ideological Americans who are paying attention know that. When Nixon got into trouble, there was a segment of the Republican Party in the early 1970s that said, hey, we want to know what this is all about. When Trump got in trouble, There are the so-called rhinos, all right, Republicans in name only, who either turned on Trump or said, look, we need to have a little bit more information. But on the Democratic side, you got nobody. But inside the party, there is trouble. Robert Costa is a political correspondent for CBS News. Here's what he said yesterday. Inside the White House this weekend and inside the Biden campaign, I've made a lot of calls and it's evident that they don't welcome what's going to be potentially a drip, drip, drip of developments on the Justice Department front with Hunter Biden. But they see it ultimately as a distraction, not something that's going to be a burden for President Biden's campaign. That's because they want to see it that way. But it is already a distraction for the Democrats and Biden's campaign. Joe Biden's job approval numbers will soon sink below 40, where he is now, into the mid-30s. Because, again, honest Americans, not ideological, not party apparatchiks, are going, this is not right. And even if Joe Biden did take, did not take money, he enabled the whole thing to happen as vice president. And he did. That is true. 
So the Democrats are desperately trying to search for a message. And here's all they can come up with. Go. Like you said, it's almost five years, and it's going to go five on years, longer now. Five so they- years, and there's no evidence link, uh, linking uh, Hunter's business dealing to the president. The, the Republicans have tried everything in Congress. They've tried everything. But this is warmed over, leftovers, and I do believe at the end of the day, if they can get that deal back on the table, Hunter Biden will be able to finally live his life again. That is a fantasy, what she just said. And I like Donna Brazil. I've known her for many years, but that is so blatantly dishonest, what she said. I mean, it's just flat out insane. So number one, she says there's no evidence linking Hunter's business dealing to the president. That's not true. We know that Joe Biden, his vice president, took meetings, got on the phone, all of that. And he didn't do it out of foreign policy or for the United States, for you and me, he did it because his son asked him to do it because his son was doing business with foreign entities. So Donna Brazil flat out misled the whole nation. Okay, that's what she did. There's no two sides to that story. Now, the ABC interviewer um, wasn't smart enough to point it out or was ordered not to. Okay, and then... Ms. Brazil goes on to say, uh, at the end of the day, whenever you hear somebody say at the end of the day, that means they're not thinking. They're reciting what they've been told to say, as she was she's reciting. Um, once we get the deal back on the table, this you know, deal that the judge said, this is absurd, it's so lenient, then Hunter Biden will be get back to live his life again. I mean, come on. Hunter Biden's never going to get back to live his life again. He's tainted forever. I mean, this is just, uh, you know, I'm sitting there. I didn't see it, but my crack producers did. They sent it to me, and I just go like this. Uh, You know, it comes a point where you just have to shut it off. So right now, the Democrats, the smart Democrats, the K Street people who understand they're looking out a year. Remember, it's a year from now where all presidential candidates have to register to get on the ballots for the primaries in the states, okay? They, I'm sorry, that, that's a misstatement. I just made a mistake. It's, there isn't a definite date where you have to register, but it's coming up for each individual state, okay? And in order to run for president a year from now, you have to be on the ballot, presidential ballot. So a third-party person would have to be on it a year from now, August, because the vote will be in November. But to get on the state ballots, New Hampshire, South Carolina, all of that, that's rapidly coming up. And each state has a different date. So if you're going to run, you got to get in gear. There's nobody except RFK Jr. running on the Democratic side. And he has no shot. Republicans got about nine people running. Okay. So the Democratic Party, they sense that more is coming and more is coming. Believe me, in September, when the House Judiciary and Oversight Committees get back in motion, they're going to have new stuff. They're going to put it out. And and people are going to listen to it. Why? Because even if you are a dope, D-O-P-E, if you know nothing, and believe me, millions of people are in that category. You know what bribery is. You know what getting money for nothing is. All right? Easy to understand. We'll deal with Trump in a minute, but Trump electoral alternate vote, very complicated. (laughs) This is easy. And the Republicans are going to push this. Not only to try to destroy Joe Biden, who's who's probably finished at this point. My prediction is by Christmas, he'll be out. I could be wrong about that, of course. But the Democrats are looking around and going, what are we going to do? If Joe Biden goes down, what are we going to do? Gavin Newsom got a lot of money out there in California, but he's a terrible candidate. California is a disaster. (laughs) I mean, people in California are getting punished by Gavin Newsom. He's punishing his own people. Try to buy some gasoline in California. So 
He can't win. I can't imagine this man. All right. So there's only one other name. That's Michelle Obama. So I'm on Michelle Obama. OK, um, because I said very early on that this is a viable Democratic candidate. She would win. She would beat Trump. She is popular. Just her book sales alone tell you that. It wasn't the greatest book in the world, believe me. Michelle Obama could put together a coalition of minorities and women and liberal men. Nobody could beat her. Michelle Obama knows that. But at this point in history, I can't get any confirmation that she wants to do it. So let's run it down. She's um, going to be 60 years old if she decides to run. She'll be 60. She's got two grown young girls uh, who are women now. Uh, she's got a good education, Princeton, Harvard Law School. She is a fanatical Democrat. She worked for, I didn't even know this, Mayor Richard Daly of Chicago. She worked for him as an assistant in 1991. And then she, she came up and she met Barack in the Democratic apparatus. So there's no problem on the Democratic side. If Michelle Obama tomorrow says, calls up whoever the head of the DNC is at this point and says, I'd like to run, she got it. Joe would resign the next day. She's in. Um, she doesn't want to campaign. She doesn't want to go out to Iowa and to all these places. She doesn't want to do it. She doesn't have to do it. All she'd have to do is show up at the convention, all right, in Chicago, and say, you know, I'm here, I'm ready. <laughs> Boom. So I can't tell you what's going to happen. I can tell you the Democratic Party is in dire trouble. Dire. And the only one that can save them is Michelle Obama. And that's the memo. Throughout history, people have needed to find ways to survive, obviously. Whether they have needed to survive war, competing leaders, or natural disasters, a common theme has been food insecurity. Heirloom seeds can hold crucial value in order to provide your family with food when you need it most. They can even turn into a form of currency. But not all seeds are created equal. Do not make the mistake of buying cheap seeds from China that won't ever germinate. Instead, buy American. Buy Heirloom and buy from our sponsor, ARC Seed Kits. These seeds can last 15 years, and you only have to buy once because heirloom seeds will grow into vegetables and will produce more seeds for the next year. Build your seed stock today by going to arcseedkits.com. Use promo code Bill at checkout. Again, that's arcseedkits.com, promo code Bill. All right, let's get to the mail. We got Susan Calioni, Atlanta. Can David Weiss... Weiss still testified before the House Oversight Committee. Now he's been appointed special counsel. He could, as we just reported, but he won't. He's got a shield now, which is why they did it. They being the Justice Department, Attorney General Merrick Garland. That's why he did it. He knows Weiss isn't going to do anything. If he didn't do anything in five years, why would he do anything now? Janet, concierge member, Bill, you say we should know about Judge Thomas getting free stuff. Personally, I don't care if Thomas is a wealthy friend and wants to provide him with luxury, but you should. You should care, Janet. There's got to be rules for Supreme Court justices on what they can and can't take and do. Has to be. You know, I mean, I want to stop the corruption. I think you do, too. Let's, I'm not saying Thomas is corrupt. But there's got to be strict rules. And there aren't now. David, concierge member, so Justice Clarence Thomas got a lot of free stuff during his tenure on the Supreme Court. So freaking what? I bet other justices have also received free stuff. Come on. Just come on. What about ism? Really? I'm watching this show. We don't do what about ism. We don't do that. Supreme Court justices should be beyond reproach. Patricia, 
Mr. O'Reilly, there was massive voter fraud in 2020, period. Patricia, you are absolutely within your rights to believe that. And if you have any evidence whatsoever of massive voter fraud, please send it to me. We will check it out, and if valid, we will report it. James, was it unconstitutional about the Republican demand requiring the signing of a pledge? No. Why would it be unconstitutional? They make the rules. The Republican National Committee is sponsoring the debate. The, one of the rules is you got to sign a pledge to support the eventual nominee. It's not unconstitutional. It's a rule. Paul uh, Steffenberger, San Dimas, California. Why is it that America fought the Nazis in Europe and Imperial Japanese Empire? We did not fight a proxy war. We fought them with everything we had. So why are we not fighting the Russian invaders directly in Ukraine? Because a World War III would break out with nukes. It's a different time in history. You don't want to do that and destroy the world. Frank Woods, Buffalo, New York. I just watched the interview with you and Chris Cuomo. It was excellent, enlightening, and I have a different view of Cuomo now. All right. I mean, that's a very lively segment. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to be on with Cuomo uh, this week, but I will send out a tweet alerting everyone at Bill O'Reilly. You want to get on our tweet band at Bill O'Reilly? As simple as that. Stephen Stone, Las Vegas, saw you on Cuomo's birthday show. Nice that people can battle in a debate, yet be civil. Well, you don't remember the John Stewart stuff? That's what we do. Uh, Daryl. Smartphones like firearms or any other tool are just tools that can be freely used for good or bad. It's not the tool's fault if the operator is abusing it for evil purposes. It's a little bit different with the smartphone here, Daryl, than a gun. Uh, smartphones are addicting. In fact, when they were developing the smartphone technology, the uh, companies knew it, that it would be psychologically addicting like tobacco. And they wanted it to be. Jeff Federico, Coventry, Rhode Island. I read Killing Jesus for the second time. I learned even more. The end where you explain what happened to the apostles was fascinating. And it's all history. You know, Killing Jesus, a uh, huge worldwide bestseller, as you know. All history. No theology, none of that. Um, hardest book that we had to research. That was a real bear. All right, Killing the Witch is up next in the Killing Series 13th, out September 26th. You can pre-order it now if you want a hand-signed copy. BillOReilly.com has them, and that is the only place you'll get a hand-signed copy of Killing the Witches. So order now because they are limited. Then we go to the live show on October 27th, Huntington, Long Island, Paramount Theater. 80% sold out, so want to see us, you got to get in. And I tell everybody, look, even if you can't go, because a lot of people don't want to plan for in advance, you can sell the tickets on a secondary market and you make a few bucks. So there's a no lose. We hope you come to the show. You'll never forget it. I already designed it. I know what it's going to be. And then we have the summer reading program, which has, I think, been our most successful uh, promotion ever on the book front. So we're giving you... Uh, Killing Killers, Killing the Legends, Killing Crazy Horse, and a hat, Team Normal, $32.95. You will not find a better deal. That deal will evaporate in the next few days again. Word of the day, do not be priggish, P-R-I-G-G-I-S-H. I love that word, do not be priggish. Priggish. Back with a final thought in a moment. You are probably paying too much for your Medicare supplement, especially if your plan is through the liberal AARP. Folks, there is an alternative, AMAC. Their Medicare advisory service is the gold standard of quality. They offer plans from dozens of insurers, and you'll get the right plan at an affordable price without all the woke nonsense. The licensed experienced advisors at AMAC are dedicated to answering your Medicare questions, explaining your options, and helping you choose a plan that suits your health needs 
and your budget. But what really makes them special is their values, faith, family, and freedom. Don't get caught up in the confusion of Medicare. Your consultation with a knowledgeable AMAC advisor is free of any financial commitment or leftist agenda. So you can visit them today, and I hope you do, amac.com US slash trust. That's A-M-A-C dot U-S forward slash T-R-U-S-T trust. Okay, here's the final thought of the day. As you know, I'm a big plan ahead guy. Drives the urchins nuts. But uh, you get a lot more in life done. No doubt about it. Though if you're a plan ahead person, you're going to get a lot more done with a lot less chaos. So it's mid-August already. And, you know, summer just ridiculous. Um, and it makes me kind of sad. I was dunking in the ocean. I had a good ocean weekend, by the way. I didn't get whacked. I mean, it was a surface a little flatter. And for me, like, that's the ultimate therapy. Anyway, Long Island, I got about five more weeks of uh, ocean swimming before it gets a little brisk. And uh, I'm looking ahead. So next week, we're going to be on vacation. I usually take the last week in August off because of family stuff. I got to take next week off. That's a debate week. If there is something about the debate, I will come back and do a show. All right. But right now, if I... Trump's going to announce momentarily when he's going to show up or not. If he doesn't show up, it's not going to be much. If he does, then we'll make a determination. Probably the day after, but we'll see. So I already got my, uh, my, vaca my vacation week planned because you got, I'm going to go deep sea fishing. We're going to get out there. Uh, we have uh, a couple of birthday dinners we're doing. Um, we got a whole bunch of stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then I look forward to September. September is going to be chaos for me as a journalist, because you got the House committees roaring back on Hunter. Then you got the primary campaign kicking up into high gear. And then you got all Trump's legal problems. So it's like massive amount of stuff right after Labor Day is going to like a rocket here. We're prepared. We're ready. I mean, we're going to be there. I mean, as I said at the beginning of the program, this broadcast is devoted to clarity. And if you have any questions, Bill at BillOReilly.com. I don't know if you're a premium concierge member, you should write to me, and I'll answer as many as I can. All right? Because it's confusing. But the worst part about it is they won't tell you the truth. They won't tell you why the special counsel was appointed. That is a bogus ruse. Corporate media would never do that. Anyway, plan ahead. I'm into October now on my little calendar. Uh, do, 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 do. But it's necessary for me because I got so much to do. And it really, if you can discipline yourself, it'll help your life. Thank you very much for watching and listening to the No Spin News. We will see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.